This is a tutorial on how to use the Dynatech Model 116 thermocouple welder. Begin by preparing some thermocouple wire. Measure out and cut a sufficiently long strand of thermocouple wire. Generally, three to four feet will suffice. Strip away about one and a half inches of the outer sheathing from both ends of the thermocouple. Strip away about one inch of the inner sheathing from both leads off both ends of the thermocouple wire using wire strippers. Use pliers to create two to three even twists in the wire at the end that will be welded. Place the twisted ends of the thermocouple wire into the wire holder with about one half inch protruding beyond the end of the clamp. Prepare the thermocouple welder. Be sure to wear safety glasses when you begin. Prepare a clean workspace with nothing flammable around the welder. Power on the welder. Open the argon gas flow control by turning the dial counterclockwise. Three to four turns should suffice. Turn the control valve on the argon gas a quarter turn counterclockwise. Press the purge button to flush the weld area with argon gas and check that sufficient argon flow is maintained. Generally, 20 to 25 cubic feet per hour is preferred. Place the wire holder with twisted thermocouple wire into the welder. Press and hold the weld button until the arc button lights up and a weld flash is seen. The thermocouple welder will automatically flush the weld area with argon during the weld. If the weld is unsuccessful, readjust the wire in the clamp and wait one minute to allow the welder to recharge prior to another attempt. After a successful weld has been performed, close the argon gas and flow control valve. Purge the excess argon gas in the line and then turn off the welder. Use a thermocouple amplifier and lab view to verify that the thermocouple functions as expected. After the thermocouple weld integrity is confirmed, add heat shrink to both ends of the welded thermocouple wire to prevent the sheath from fraying.